What's up? Jason Tatum here. Ball up wherever you are with NBA 2K Mobile. Play in game events to collect NBA legends and rising stars to assemble your dream team and settle things on the court. NBA 2K Mobile lets you put together your dream team with your favorite NBA legends and current GOATs. Download NBA 2K Mobile now on the App Store and Google Play. is Trivia for Kids, where it's not just for adults anymore. Hello. Hello. Let's do like in a, let's do like in a harmony. Hello. Then you say, hello. Then you say, hello. And then we all go, hello. Can you do that? Ready? Who wants to start? Got it. Hello. <laughs> That's not what I said to do, you go. Hi, everybody. It is episode 126 of Trivia for Kids, the podcast, and you've got three of us today. My name's Casey. My name's My Ren. Name. My name's Brooks. Casey, Ren, and Brooks coming at you for episode 126. Who, who, who? What's new, guys? What do we need to share today? Uh, Summer is almost over. School starts soon. Yes. No. No, you're not ready for school to start. Who's ready to go back to school? Raise your hand. Me, I'm the only one that raised my hand. You guys aren't ready to go back to school? No. Sixth grade and kindergarten are going to be great. What are you talking about? What are you excited about to go back to school? Give me a positive. Um, I'm excited to see my friends again. That's a good one. How about you, bud? I'm excited to see new friends. You're excited to make new friends. That's a great one. I'm excited for you guys to be at school. <laughs> That's it. But it's going to be so good. I can't wait. And you're at, we're at like 10 days, I think. So yeah. it's coming. It's coming. Do you want a joke? Sure. All right. Here we go. Joke number one comes from listener Hudson. Thank you, Hudson. Guess where Hudson lives? Texas. Zimbabwe. You know where that is? It's in Africa. Yes! That's crazy! What did one volcano say to the other? Mm -hmm. I lava you. I lava you, Brooks and Wren. That's when you say, I lava you too, Mom. (laughs) I lava you too, Mom. Thank you. What about you? Nothing? You don't lava me? (laughs) All right, joke number two comes from listener Ellis. Thank you, Ellis. Guess where Ellis is from? Texas. Ireland! Can anyone do an Irish accent? No. Oh, man, that's a tough one. Uh, It's sort of like British, but then it has... Scottish. It's sort of like Scottish, but not so... I need to practice that one. Remind me, Ellis, to practice how to speak in an Irish accent. (laughs) Oh, this is so cute. His mom said, he wants to send you a wee joke (laughs) instead of a little. That's so cute. Let's see if I can say it in an Irish accent. What did the mammy cat say? Well, that's terrible. What did the mammy cat say to the baby cat when she tidied her room? Mm. It's perfect. Brooks, if you ever cleaned your room, I would tell you it's perfect. Yeah. Do you ever clean your room? No. It's you clean. Don't. It's clean I right do. now. My clean room right is now. very clean right now. All right. Our next joke comes from listener Mateo. Thanks, Mateo. Thank you, Mateo. I love this joke. Also a cat joke. Why did the cat cross the road? Because the chicken had a laser pointer. (laughs) Can you picture a chicken with a laser pointer? Did the toy? Where would he hold it? In his teeth or in his mouth? Or in his wing? (laughs) He's like pointing it with his wing. I don't know. That'd be funny. And our next joke comes from listener AJ. Thanks, AJ. AJ. What do you call a house made of clothes? A clothes house. (laughs) A pig pen. A warehouse. (laughs) Because <laughs> you wear clothes. Yeah. And the last joke is from listener Maggie. Thank you, Maggie. She made this one up. What did one water bottle say to the other water bottle? What are you up to? <laughs> <laughs> Great jokes, everybody. Good okay. Job. Who's ready for trivia? Me. Who's ready for school to start? Not me. <laughs> okay, let's do trivia then. <laughs> Here's how the show works. Trivia for Kids consists of five rounds with seven questions each. 
We will announce the answers at the end of each round. Each new round will have a different category. After the fifth round, we will have the final exam, which will test you on the toughest questions we have covered in the previous rounds. Everyone ready? Let's get started. Round number one. The category is safari animals. Question one: Which animal's horn is made of keratin, the same substance as human nails? Question two, true or false? Recent research shows that scientists think that the reason zebras have stripes is to help repel biting flies. Question three, what animal's name means river horse in Greek? Question four: Which scavenger animal has a distinctive laugh-like vocalization? Question five: What bird can kill with a single kick, powerful enough to crush a lion's skull? Question six: What animal is known for its loud roar, which can be heard up to five miles away? Question seven: What animal uses a long tongue, which can extend up to eighteen inches to eat leaves? And now the answers to round one. Question one: Which animal's horn is made of keratin, the same substance as human fingernails? A warthog. I think it's a, a, a rhinoceros. Rhinoceros. That is the answer. A rhino's horn is made of keratin, which is also what our fingernails are made out of. Rhinoceros. You're right. Good job. Question two: True or false? Recent research shows that scientists think that the reason zebras have stripes is to help repel biting flies. True. False. It is true. Let me tell you about this. Theories suggested it helped them camouflage. Or that stripes served as an identity name tag for zebras to recognize each other. Researchers from Bristol University studied the benefits of zebra stripes by examining how horseflies behaved around zebras and horses. They put patterned coats on horses and discovered that those in striped patterns were less bothered by flies than horses in black or white coats. One of the lead researchers told that their greatest finding was the intensity of the striping on the animal correlates with the number of horse flies it attracts. Isn't that crazy? But I've seen now that I hear about this. As I've been driving around, I have seen regular horses that have like a blanket over them that has zebra stripes on it, and I bet it's because to keep the flies away. That's so cool. That is really cool. Question three: What animal's name means river horse in Greek? Um, I think it's a lion. Hippopotamus oh, is a hippo. river horse. That makes sense now. It's kind of like a river horse, big old animal in the water. Hippopotamus. His name means river horse. Huh. I wonder if in Greek right now, like if you were speaking the Greek language, if you said hippopotamus, they would think you said river horse. Hmm. Question four: Which scavenger animal has a distinctive laugh-like vocalization? Monkey. Good guess. Hyena. Hyena is the answer. What is a scavenger, Brooks? 
Do you know, Ren? What's a scavenger? Like, they scavenge for, like, scrapings of food and... Scavengers are animals that eat food that somebody else killed, and they just sort of well, eat the leftovers. So, Brooks, it's kind of like a scavenger hunt where you where you look for what someone left. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. So they don't always kill their own food. They just eat what's left. So, like, vultures are another example of scavengers because they eat already dead food. Question five. What bird can kill with a single kick powerful enough to crush a lion's skull? A bird? Mm Mm-hmm. Falcon. Eagle. The answer is ostrich. An ostrich can kick hard enough to crush a lion's skull. Let's think about that. Like, I would think a lion's skull would be pretty hard. They must be pretty, pretty strong and powerful. That's crazy. Question six. What animal is known for its loud roar, which can be heard up to five miles away? Nice. A lion. That is correct. Their voice must carry and carry and carry. That's crazy. That's a long... Think about how long five miles is. That's a long way. I can't even walk that long. (laughs) Right? Question seven. What animal uses a long tongue which can extend up to 18 inches to eat leaves? A giraffe? Yes, a a giraffe. giraffe. And their tongue is purple and they have special things on their tongue so that they don't get splinters from from the plants. Really? I didn't know about that part. I did know it was purple, but it's 18 inches long so that they can reach those leaves. Round two. The category is currency, which is just kind of a fancy word for money. Question one. What animal is featured on the Australian $1 coin? Question two, true or false, paper money isn't actually made of paper. Question three, who is on the United States $100 bill, also known as the Benjamin? Question four. $20,580 worth of play money comes in every box of which board game? Question five. True or false? A penny costs more to make than it's actually worth. Question six. In which North American country can you find a $1 coin called a loony? Question seven. True or false? The euro is only used in Europe. And now the round two answers. Question one. What animal is featured on the Australian $1 coin? Um, the answer is a kangaroo. Oh, yeah. Obviously, those are, when you think of Australia, Why you think, think of, of bluey. kangaroos. They are on the $1 Australian coin. Question two. True or false? Paper money isn't actually made of paper. True. It is true. Paper money isn't actually made of paper. It's made of a blend of cotton and linen fibers, which make it more durable than regular paper. Question three. Who is on the U.S. $100 bill, also known as the Benjamin? Benjamin Franklin is on the $100 bill. So a $100 bill in America's nickname is a Benjamin. So if you're going to give somebody a Benjamin, it's a $100 bill with Ben Franklin's picture on it. Good job. Question four. 
$20,580 worth of play money comes in every box of which board game? Monopoly? Monopoly is the answer. I had no idea that in every box of Monopoly, it was $20,000 worth of money. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. A lot of money. Question five, true or false? A penny costs more to make than it's actually worth. True. It is true. It costs two pennies to make one penny. It costs about two cents to make while it's only worth one cent. The same is true for a nickel. It costs seven cents to make, but it's only worth five. That's crazy. I wonder why we still make them then, if it costs more to make than it is worth. Hmm. I'm surprised the government hasn't been like, well, that doesn't make any sense. Let's quit making them, right? Yeah. Question six. In which North American country can you find a $1 coin called a loony? Canada? It is Canada. Yes. You're right. The coin gets its nickname from the picture of a solitary loon on the reverse side of the coin. So they call it a loony. If the $1 coin is called a loony, what is the $2 coin in Canada called? Um, a loony tune. That's a great guess. It's called a toonie. Loonies and toonies. Isn't that adorable? Yeah. So cute. They also use quarters, dimes, and nickels in Canada, too. But loonies and toonies. Looney tunes. Question seven. True or false? The euro is only used in Europe. False. True. The answer is false. In addition to it being the currency of 19 European Union countries, the euro is also the official currency of Kosovo, Montenegro, and more. That's crazy. I would think that the euro would only be in Europe, but it's not. Round number three. The category is fruit. Question one. Which fruit is the most widely consumed fruit in the world? Question two. What fruit is often mistaken for a vegetable and is commonly used in Italian cuisine? Question three. What fruit is known for its edible, fuzzy skin and sweet, juicy flesh? Question four. What small, round fruit grows in clusters on vines and comes in varieties like red, green, and purple? Question five. What is a dried plum called? Question six. What fruit is known for its brown, hard, hairy outer shell and soft, sweet white interior? Question seven. What color is the inside of a kiwi? Round three answers. Question one. Which fruit is the most widely consumed fruit in the world? Do you know what that means? It means which fruit yeah. is eaten the most out of the whole world? First, I'm, I'm either going with... Pineapple, okay. strawberry, or watermelon? Pick one. Watermelon is my decision. Strawberry. The answer is bananas. Bananas! Bananas or plantains. You know what a plantain is? Yeah. A plantain is kind of just like a banana, except it's a little harder and it's not as sweet. But bananas or plantains is the answer. Question two. Which fruit is often mistaken for a vegetable and is commonly used in Italian cuisine? Tomato. Tomato is the answer. Isn't it weird that tomato is a fruit? Yeah. Well, it has seeds. Well, that's true. That's why. But you think of it as a vegetable. vegetable. 
Question three. What fruit is known for its fuzzy skin and sweet, juicy flesh? Peaches, 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 peaches. I love you. All right, question four. What small round fruit grows in clusters on vines and comes in varieties like red, green, and purple? Oh, grapes. The answer is grapes. That is correct. Question five. What is a dried plum called? Mm, a dried plum. A crepe. A crepe? Nope. No, that's a type of... Dessert. Is that also called a raisin? It's like a big raisin. It is called a prune. Have you ever heard of a prune? Yes, I've also had one. Do you know when people? You know why people eat prunes sometimes? Why? why? Helps them to go to the bathroom when they haven't gone in a while. <laughs> Question six: What fruit is known for its brown, hard, hairy outer shell and sweet, soft white interior? Coconut. coconut. Coconut is the answer. Are, do you guys like coconut? I love coconut. No, I, I had a coconut. Well, I don't like you dried. You dried coconut. I love coconut that like, sprinkles on donuts. The donuts that the kids get at our bakery in town has toasted coconut as like a topping on top of the frosting. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised that's the only kind of coconut you like to eat. Question seven. What color is the inside of a kiwi? That green. Green. It is light green and green with black dots for the seeds and a white center core. Kiwis are green, correct. Round four. The category is the night sky. Question one. Betelgeuse is the brightest star in which belted constellation? Question two. Ursa Major and Ursa Minor have animal nicknames called the Great and the Little What? Question three. What is the name of the Earth's natural satellite that can be seen in the night sky? Question four. Sirius is the brightest, largest, or hottest star in the night sky. Question five. A shooting star is actually a what that enters our atmosphere? Question six. How many phases of the moon are there? Four, six, or eight? Question seven. What is the name of the famous star at the end of the handle of the Little Dipper? Round number four answers. Question one, Betelgeuse is the brightest star in which belted constellation? Orion? Orion is the answer. So Orion has a Damn. belt, like Orion is supposed to be a person, and then you can see that he has a belt. It's sort of like three stars that are perfectly diagonal, and then there's some coming down from that belt, and that's supposed to be his sword. But the brightest star in Orion is Betelgeuse, Betelgeuse, Betelgeuse. Question two, Ursa Major and Ursa Minor have animal nicknames called the Great and the Little what? Bear. It is bear. Very good, Ren. They are named as such because many cultures have believed that the stars in these constellations form the shape of a bear. Sometimes I struggle seeing what they came up with because I don't know that if I would see a bear. Thankfully, I have that app on my phone yeah. that sort of draws it out for me. So yeah. I like that. Question three. What is the name of the Earth's natural satellite that can be seen in the night sky? It's the moon. 
Oh, the Earth has one satellite. Oh my word, I thought of like a man-made satellite. The Earth has one natural satellite. It is the moon. Question four. Sirius is the brightest, largest, or hottest star in the night sky. Brightest. No. Yeah. Largest. No, 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 no. Hottest. 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 The answer is brightest. The brightest. No. So listen to this, guys. Sirius, the star I'm talking about, is 25.4 times brighter than the sun and is also twice as massive as the sun. That's crazy. But the reason it doesn't look that big, because it is 8.6 light years away from our solar system. Think about if that star were closer, how big it would look. Crazy. Question five. A shooting star is actually a what that enters our atmosphere? An asteroid. A flaming asteroid. Close. Well, it's going really fast. It is a meteor. 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 I said it. I said meteor. A shooting star, also known as a meteor, is a streak of light that appears in the night sky when a meteoroid enters the Earth's atmosphere at high speeds and then burns up. Oh. The meteoroid is a small piece of rock or dust ranging in size from a grain of sand to a boulder that comes from space. Wow. Crazy. Question six. How many phases of the moon are there? Four, six, or eight? Six? The answer is eight. Oh, eight. The moon has eight phases, which are made up of four primary phases and four secondary phases. The primary phases are the new moon, the first quarter, the full moon, and the last quarter. The secondary phases are waxing crescent, waxing gibbous, waning crescent, and waning gibbous. So a phase of the moon is basically like when, how much of the moon we can see. When it's a new moon, we can't see it at all. When it's a full moon, we can see the whole thing. And everything else sort of is ranges in size in between. Eight phases. Question seven. What is the name of the famous star at the end of the handle of the Little Dipper? I don't know. The answer is the North Star, but its official name is Polaris. Round number five. The category is video games. Question one. What are the names of the two main characters in Minecraft? Question two. What color is Wario's shirt? Question three. Named after a famous football coach, what is the name of the popular EA Sports NFL video game? Question four. In Among Us, what role do you play if you are trying to sabotage the crew? Question five. In Splatoon, what are the characters called who can turn into squids? Question six. In what Nintendo game can Pikachu fight Donkey Kong? Question seven. In Pokemon, what do you use to catch Pokemon? Answers to the last round. Question one. What are the two main characters' names in Minecraft? Steve and, and uh, um, 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 Steve and... Alex. Alex. Alex and Steve. Alex is a girl, right? Yeah. And Steve's a boy? Yep, that is correct. Question two. What color is Wario's shirt? Yellow and purple. Yellow is the answer, but I think the W. His like overalls are. Yeah, that's right. His overalls are purple, but his shirt is yellow. Yellow, yeah. 
Question three. Named after a famous football coach, what is the name of the popular EA Sports NFL video game? Madden. Madden is the answer. Good job. So John Madden was a really, really good NFL coach. So they named the video game after him. Madden. Question four. In Among Us... What role do you play if you are trying to sabotage the crew? Imposter. Imposter. You are the imposter. But if if you're not sabotaging the crew, you're the crewmate. Oh, okay. So you can either be an imposter or a crewmate. Those are the only options? Normally there's one imposter and like eight crewmates. Oh, fun. Question five. In Splatoon, what are the characters called who can turn into squids? Inklings. Inklings is what they're called. Inkling girl and inkling boy. Question six. In what Nintendo game can Pikachu fight Donkey Kong? Super Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros. is the answer. So in Super Smash Bros., you have choices of all kinds of characters, right? Like, I can't even I can't even come up with how many there are, but they're all, like, name some other random ones that you could be. Like, there's Shulk, there's, there, you can be Mario, you can be Yoshi, you can be Pionk, Donkey Kong, 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 Kong. Who do I like Inkling to be? Inkling Inkling Boy. Who's this, who's the fox that I like to be? Oh, um, Fox. fox. Oh, um, uh, he's, his name is just Fox. Oh, his name is just Fox? He's who I And there's say. also Wolf. Oh, Fox and Wolf. Anyway, Super mm-hmm. Smash Bros. have all kinds of characters that... Can fight in Pac-Man. It's kind of like a mashup. Question seven. In Pokemon, what do you use to catch Pokemon? A Pokeball. A Pokeball. I didn't know what they were used for. I just thought they were, like, I don't know, something Pikachu played you're with. You're supposed to, like, just, like, grab one and like, almost, like, chuck it at them? Yeah. Okay, then what happens? And, and then, then, like, it opens and traps them in there. Oh. And then, and then you can, like, work on them and then make yes. them stronger. And stronger. Interesting. I didn't know they had a purpose. I thought it was just, like, what Pokemon or what Pikachu used to play soccer or something. <laughs> but, okay, cool. Thanks for the info. If he kicked it with his foot, then he would just be in the ball. Oh, that would be a bad and idea. Then, and then yeah. they kicked it again, and then Pikachu, then another person would be in. Like... Charizard. That's or, the only other one I know. Or Bulbasaur, or Ditto. Or, oh, yeah. or, I know a lot of people. Or um, or Mewtwo. Or oh, Mewtwo. Mewtwo! I forgot about him. And now it's time for the final exam. Now remember, you've heard these questions in the previous rounds, but these were the hardest ones we've had. So use your memory and try to think back to what the answers are. Question one. Beetlejuice is the brightest star in which belted constellation? Orion. Question two. Which animal's name means river horse in Greek? Hippopotamus. Question three. Which fruit is the most widely consumed fruit in the world? Bananas or plantains? Question four. In which North American country can you find a $1 coin called a loony? Canada. Question five. How many phases of the moon are there? Eight. Question six. What is a dried plum called? A prune. Question seven. In Splatoon, what are the characters called who can turn into squids? Inklings. Inklings! And here come your shout-outs. Zebras comes from listener Elsie. Thank you, Elsie. Currency comes from listener Mara. Thank you, Mara. Minecraft and Super Mario Brothers comes from Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. Super Mario Brothers also comes from Lucas. Thank you, Lucas. Pokemon and Minecraft come from Odin. Thank you, Odin. And now, here is the most birthday shoutouts you have ever heard in your entire life. 
Our first birthday shout out goes to listener William, who turns nine. Happy birthday, William. William's mom says that he's a really hard worker and a good friend. And he did junior guards, golf, basketball, and some sailing this summer. And he's going to be a third grader and play flag football. Those are all great things, William. Way to go. William, do you go by Will? Will rhymes with more things than William. Happy birthday, Will. Do you like dill pickles? Would you like a dollar, Bill? Have you ever been to a mill, William? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Will. Yum. Yum. All right, our next birthday shout-out goes to listener Ruby, who turns seven. Happy birthday, Ruby. Ruby is a type of gem. You are a gem, too, Ruby. I bet you are brilliantly colorful and valuable, just like a real Ruby that got pulled out of a cave. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Ruby. Our next birthday shout-out goes to a newly turned eight-year-old named Judson Grant. Thank you for including Grant in there, Judson Grant, because that's easier to rhyme with than Judson. Happy birthday, Judson Grant. Are you bigger than an ant? Do you wear long pants? Happy birthday, Judson Grant pants. Ants, do you like to dance on your birthday or anytime? Happy birthday! Happy birthday! All right, our next shout out goes to listener Anson, our Australian buddy who turns eight. Happy birthday! Oh, that's not, that was British. Good day, mate! Anson turns eight. That is still British. Happy birthday, Anson. Will you be dancing with the wallaby that lives by your house, Anson, or the kangaroos? play the didgeridoos in Australia. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. (laughs) Our next birthday shout out goes to listener Dean turning seven. Happy birthday, Dean. This is from his sister Soha and his mom and his dad. Happy birthday, Dean. Do you like beans? Um, Beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot, Dean. Happy birthday, Dean. Do you like beans, Dean? Happy birthday. Every day. Happy birthday. All right. The next one goes to listener Park. He turns seven. Happy birthday, Park. Are you afraid of the dark? Have you heard of Noah's Ark? Have you ever made sparks by hitting two rocks together? Park. (laughs) Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Park. The next one goes to listener Logan. Happy birthday, Logan. His mom says he's the coolest caring boy. That's so nice. Happy birthday, Logan. What is your slogan? Is it you are nine and you're super, super fine? Logan, it's going to be on a billboard that says, Logan is nine and he's super, super fine. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Logan. Our next one goes to listener Garrett. He's turning eight. Happy birthday, Garrett. Garrett, have you ever had a ferret as a pet? Do you like carrots, Garrett? If you had a hat, would you wear it to school? And if you did, would you share it with your friends, Garrett? This sounds like something from if you give the mouse a cookie. (laughs) It does. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Garrett. The next one goes to listener Harlan. He turns seven. Harlan, have you ever caught a marlin? That is a type of fish in the ocean. Also, a baseball team in Florida. The Marlins. Happy birthday, Harlan. Hope you have the best day, darling. (laughs) Happy birthday, Harlan. And our next birthday shout-out goes to a six-year-old named Gianna. Happy birthday, Gianna. Gianna loves the outdoors, reading, and biking. Great things. Happy birthday, Gianna. Do you like Tiana and also Princess Anna? Stay away from piranhas, Gianna. On your birthday and all the time. Happy birthday, Happy Gianna. Happy birthday, Gianna. And our next birthday shout-out is a belated birthday to Gianna's brother, Giovanni. Happy birthday, Giovanni. I hope you had a wonderful birthday. Giovanni, your birthday was in July. It was last month. Hope you had the best time and ate a lot of cake and played games with your friends and family, Giovanni. Happy birthday, Giovanni. The next one goes to listener Archer. Happy birthday, Archer. Archer is turning seven, and he and his brother Griffin love the book series Dogman. Actually, they've submitted the category request for Dogman, so we've had a question from Archer about Dogman before. A-R-C-H-E-R, Archer. 
Do you know how to drive a car, Archer? Do you know archery? That is kind of like your name. If you do, I hope you hit the bullseye, Archer. Happy birthday, Archer. The next one goes to listener Maggie. Happy birthday, Maggie. She turned six. M-A-G-G-I-E, Maggie. I hope that your pants aren't saggy. When you have leftovers, put them in a baggie. We hope you have the best birthday, Maggie. Happy birthday, Maggie. The last one goes to listener Aria, who turns 10. Happy birthday, Aria. Aria had a special request that she wanted Ren and Quinn to sing her birthday song. We're going to bring in the other one. Quinn, Aria requested you and Ren to sing the song. She's 10. Happy birthday to Aria. Do you wear a tee, Aria? Do you, you play, play Super, Super Mario? Mario? Happy birthday to Aria. Hey. And, and Ren. And, and Casey. 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 Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, everybody. Birthday. All right. Now that you're here, Quinn, let's do the conversation starter with you. Since we did video games, what is your favorite video game to play? When we were in Italy, I played one with my cousin, and it's called... Uh, Super Mario 3D World. I, that's my favorite. Too. Super Mario Brothers. Well, you have that game, don't you? Mario Super Mario 3D, 3D World. Yeah, yeah, we do have that game. Okay, my favorite game to play is Dr. Mario on the original NES. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Trivia for Kids podcast. If you have not done so already, please give us a five star review. Please subscribe to our podcast so that you never miss a new episode on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you get your podcasts. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Trivia for Kids Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can catch all of our live videos. You can email us at Trivia for Kids Podcast at gmail.com. And birthday shout-outs are available for Patreon subscribers.